Hey, I'm Steve Zaragoza. And I'm Maud Garrett. If you're a big old geek, which you probably are because this is Source Fed Nerd, meaning we deliver nerdy news, which is probably why you're here. That, well, you've fallen for Steve's sultry seductiveness, and that's why you're here. You're just waiting for him to get naked. Oh. This nerdy news is all about Game of Thrones, so if you're not caught up to the end of season five, then get out! Maybe just wait for them to go, because otherwise we'll spoil it for them. Give them five seconds. <sighs> what are you still doing there? Go, kid! Seriously! Go! Oi! Unless you're a Game of Thrones fan. Are we with our people? So, Jon Snow got all stabbied by the Night's Watch who were fed up with his plans to make peace with the Wildlings for the greater good. The greater good. <gasps> no, wait. For the watch. <sighs> well, now that the cast is having a little R&R, &R, and by rest and relaxation, I mean doing a shit ton of interviews. Uh, Amelia Clark, who plays at Mother of Dragons. Stormborn. Breaker of Chains. Queen of the Andals. And the Rona and the First Men. Protector of the Realm. Daenerys of House Targaryen, the first in her name. <gasps> recently spoke to MTV about Jon Snow's death and admitted she too knows nothing. She knows nothing, Jon Snow? Yeah! When urged to weigh in on the expectancy of Snow's return to the series and from the dead, she said she'd put money on a 50-50 return, saying, quote, There's some very helpful people there who could bring him on back yeah. to life. Oh yeah, we're, we're on that same page, baby. Yeah. Lady Melisandre just riding into the Night's Watch and Seven of the Lord of Light, who, as we've seen before, has the ability to prevent true death. Yeah, they wouldn't have shown that guy come back to life in that one scene with mm. Arya if it didn't mean something later on in the series. Baron Joe Darrenden. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> <laughs> but Kit Harrington, AKA Jon Snow, AKA Commander of the Night's Watch sounds like he finally knows a little something since he's come out and admitted that he will not be returning for season six. Even the showrunners are saying dead is dead. That's not good. But what about the one true killer himself, the author George R.R. R. Martin? He loves to squash any happiness when it comes to characters that we actually give a shit about. Well, he seems to be changing his tune. Mm. He's playing coy, mm. sure, but he said, quote, if there's one thing we know in a song <laughs> of ice and fire, it's that death is not necessarily permanent, motherfucker. <laughs> I left, I put that part in. But still. Ooh. So maybe Amelia really does know what's going down, even though she openly admitted that she can't tell a lie and therefore no one has told her what's going down in the upcoming season. Well, maybe we're just pulling at straws here. Either way, Amelia is secretly happy because she's one step closer to the throne. That's the kind of ambition and determination that I can get behind. Mm -hmm. So what say you, peeps? Do you get the throner boners over the speculation and discussion? Did you have to tune out because you didn't watch Game of Thrones at all and you're not even watching this right now? If that's the case, this is for you. Get out! I'm Steve Zag. And I'm Morty G. Thanks for watching, guys. I, um will fucking hate it if there's an entire season without snow without even mentioning snow if there's no snow then we'll go that's right no snow we go what she said <laughs> that's kind of offensive to me and 22 million people <laughs> in the country of australia is it 22 million yeah god damn mm. so i have more twitter followers than <laughs> the of people in australia <laughs> this is source fed One sounds promising, The Flash. I'm The Flash. I repel clothes off my body, which is useful when I wear armor in battle. Also, you can see my penis. It's good. It is good.